When I do talks on AI code security, one of the most common questions I get is how do we get the LLM to not be non-deterministic? And where this question is coming from is frustration with being unable to recreate um, what an LLM did in the past. So for example, if I use the same prompt multiple times on the same LLM, I will get often different results each time. Um, rather than trying to eliminate non-determinism, because non-determinism is actually really important for being able to go beyond the whole if-then uh, paradigm, it enables LLMs to be creative and have reasoning skills. So we don't want to get rid of non-determinism, but there are some things that we can do, whether you're a security professional or um, a software engineer, to kind of um, put some boundaries, some bumpers on that non-determinism. So the first thing that you can do is be more specific in how you write your prompts. Uh, more detail is better. Treat the prompt like a design document rather than a stream of consciousness. The second thing that you could do is implement organizational rules in your uh, code assistant, be it cursor or whatever. You can put in rules that say, anytime you encounter this type of situation, do this thing. For example, if I want to handle input sanitization in a specific way, I can write that in a rule and anytime the LLM uh, needs to do that, they'll follow the rule. The third way is to incorporate MCP servers, which work in tandem with rules that tell the LLM when to use the MCP server. So for example, with an application security tool, the rule tells the LLM uh, use this scanner anytime these things happen. For example, anytime you change the package JSON, et cetera. So those are three ways that you can compensate for non-determinism to get a little bit more repeatability and reliability without totally losing the benefits of non-determinism. That's that creativity and reasoning.